What's going on YouTube? This is the Common Sense Professor, and today we're going to be looking at a program where we control a stoplight with a PLC. Okay, for this project, we're going to create a traffic light. The example that we're going to use is a street in Murray, Kentucky. That's 12th Street, which is a four-lane, very busy street, and a side street, Olive Street. There are stoplights that are facing north and south for 12th Street, and then there are stoplights that are facing east and west for Olive Street. At the intersection of Olive Street, there are sensors that senses cars. If a car stays there for five seconds, it will sequence the lights on 12th Street. So here's the thing to remember. On 12th Street, the light is green all the time. There are no timers associated with the green light. On Olive Street, which is the side street, the light is on red all the time. There are no timers associated with red. When a car pulls up on either side of Olive Street and stays there for five seconds, you're going to start a sequence. 12th Street will go yellow for three seconds, red for eight seconds, and I'll explain why it's eight seconds in a minute. At the same time this turns red, Olive Street light will turn green for five seconds, and then yellow for three seconds, and then back to its original state. The reason this red light has to be on for eight seconds is because it has to remain on during the green and yellow light sequence on Olive Street. If a car pulls up like this red car here, it's probably not going to stay for five seconds because it's turning right. It'll turn into traffic, and once it turns into traffic, your timer resets inside your program if it doesn't reach five seconds. Once it reaches five seconds, it sequences through yellow for three seconds, red for eight seconds, at the same time green is on for five seconds, then yellow for three seconds, and then back to its original state. Now when you, you're setting up this program, remember the green on 12th and the red on olive does not have timers associated with it. So you have to ask yourself, when is this green light on, on 12th Street? Well, it is on whenever yellow is not on or red is not on. And on Olive Street, your red light is on whenever green is not on or yellow is not on. Okay, so now that you know the basics of the program, let's look at what I've got here. Now I'm using the Emulate program. Again, if you want to go back and look at some uh, previous videos on how to use Emulate, you can. We'll, we'll talk about these XIOs here towards the end so you understand what I'm doing. But these are my two car present sensors. So as I mentioned, if a car pulls up on either the east side or west side of Olive Street, I want to wait five seconds. And if that car is still there, then we're going to start our sequence. Our 12th Street lights will sequence from green to yellow to red and then back to green again. So this is my circuit here. If a car pulls up, here, it's going to start timing for five seconds. Once that is done, you notice I'm using cascading timers. Once that's done, I get a done bit here. My yellow one timer starts timing for three seconds. Even if a car pulls off, it's still going to continue to time because I've got my TT bit sealing that circuit in. Once it's done, it does two things. It starts my red light on 12. It also starts my green light on Olive Street. So once I get my green light, once it's done, it'll cycle the yellow light on Olive Street before it goes back to red. Now the reason I've got eight seconds here for the red light is because that red light has to stay on on 12th Street the entire time the green light and yellow light are on on Olive Street. That's why I've got eight seconds total for red. Now when you go down here, let's look at my lights. My green light on 12 is on all the time. I mentioned this before, but it doesn't have a timer. So let's look at when that green light actually comes on. What I did was I said that when the yellow light on 12 and the red light on 12 is not on, turn my green light on. So whenever I start sequencing yellow 1 TT here, a couple things happen. One thing that happens is it turns my yellow light on but it also turns off my green light. And then once yellow light's done, it sequences my red light, turns my red light on, keeps my green light off. And so green light on 12 is on whenever yellow on 12 and red on 12 is not on. 
And if you notice, I did the same thing for the red light on olive because it's on all the time too and doesn't have a timer. So whenever the green on olive or the yellow on olive is not on, my red light is on. And you can see I simply used the ones that do have timers. I simply use my TT bit. As long as it's timing, it turns my different lights on. So it's actually pretty simple. So let's look down here at my outputs. Zero is 12 green. One is 12 yellow. Two is 12 red. Three is olive green. Four is olive yellow. And five is olive red. Notice right now when there's no cars present, I've got a green light on 12 and a red light on olive. So let's go up here now. Let's watch this operate. Let's say a car pulls up for a couple of seconds, turns right. You see nothing happened, right? We don't want to sequence a light if a car pulls up just for a couple of seconds and turn right. So it starts over again. Now let's have another car pull up on the opposite side. It wants to go straight, so it's going to wait five seconds. Now look down here. Now my yellow light's on. Green and red's on, so a car leaves. Now I'm at red here, green here. Now I'm cycling through yellow. And then it goes back to its original state. Let's watch it happen one more time. So now car pulls up. Again, this is red. This is green. Yellow light. Green and red. Car leaves. Yellow light on olive. Red and green. Okay, and so that's how my stoplight sequence through. Now let's talk about this real quick. Why do I have these here? Well, the reason I have these here, and if you look, I'm saying if any of my lights are sequencing through, so these are all associated with my timers here. If any of my lights are on, yellow, red on 12, or green or yellow on olive, then a car, if a car pulls up again, it's not going to start or sequence over. Because if I did not have these, let's say I have a car pull up, wait five seconds, starts my sequence and then leaves and then as this is going through the process I have another car pull up well if it's there for five seconds I'm gonna have two sequences going through my stoplights and so I have to have this to turn off this rung whenever we are sequencing through our timers and that's the purpose of the XIOs here I hope this has helped you with your projects if you have any comments please leave them below